last night. Um, it's beautiful. I couldn't even tell you where anything about it yet. Uh-uh. What do you think about Mine's it? Mine's still hazy. Yeah. I, was, I was just writing in my journal that my mind was still hazy after that whole can of whip ass. I didn't think things would get better after Humboldt. Yeah. Humboldt was straight ahead, jamming, groovy panic. Last night was just rock. Yeah, it's just rock it's jamming. Yeah. Hard. It's totally jamming. It's huge. The crowd was amazing. <laughs> Don't mean to rub it in, everybody at home, but it's okay. <laughs> Next time, y'all got it. There's something special about Europe, that's for sure. Totally. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heading show, man. Phenomenal. And, and I don't use that word loosely. Phenomenal. Tell me about the family running around on Europe, checking this tour out. Well, man, it's been fun. It's a bunch of partying. It is beautiful. Everybody's rolling around together, just hanging out, you know? Um, it's a pilgrimage. Yeah, it is it's a fun. <laughs> town to town. It's really fun, man, because you ain't got shit to do over here. And then you got concerts to go to, so you can only imagine. And you don't have to drive anywhere. Oh. You don't have to drive anywhere. That is the coolest thing. The train. The train. Public transport. So it's been beautiful. On the train. Hey, tell me about uh, the Germans and uh, all the Germans that showed up to the Hamburg show. I'm going to let you handle that one, man. I had a ball with the Germans in, uh, in Hamburg specifically. Yeah, it was like half, half, half the venue was probably Germans doing their crazy, like, rock and rave dances. Yeah, that was kind of cool. <laughs> it was really cool. That one little girl with the dark hair doing this crazy dance, and then they were, like, trying to find the groove. They were fun. They were fun. We hooked up with that guy. Uh, I forget his name. Vladimir. From, from back from Hamburg. Came over for Hanover. You got to love that. Okay. For all you fans at home, Amsterdam was probably one of the funnest places to see a concert. I don't even know what to tell you, man. The Paradiso is one sweet, sweet spot. And there's a coffee shop tour you could take before you got there. That was one of the funnest things to do. Other kind of shops around there, too. But we won't go into that since we're taping it. Tie your shoes, we're going to Berlin. The coolest city of the tour was next, East Berlin and the show happened to fall on Friday the 13th. They played Big Wooly that night. Instead of throwing our lighters on stage, we just dropped them at JB's feet. Venue in Berlin was really interesting. Berlin was so crowded <laughs> inside. I mean, I remember people were standing on top of music boxes, you know, just to get a good eyeline. It had to have been 120 degrees in this place. It was so hot. 
That's one thing for Berlin. Berlin was just, you know, just, it was intensely hot inside. It was the hottest place I've ever been in my life. It was one of the very few shows of widespread panic that I have seen that uh, an encore wasn't played. About to leave Berlin at the Nat Club the day after. The show was absolutely incredible, but we didn't get an encore because they had to shut the place down, turn it into a disco. But we did get a killer after hours party where we got to hang out. JB was shooting some pool. Dave was there. Saw them all actually just hanging out, drinking some beer, shooting some pool after the show. It was nice. It was very nice. There's probably like 200 of us in there. So it was real special. a day off after the Berlin show, so we slept in and went to Checkpoint Charlie. Walking through the museum really put things into perspective for us. It was hard to believe 10 years had passed since the wall fell. It seemed so distant at the time. to about 30 shows. I'm here for the whole tour in Europe. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of kind of crazy getting to Europe or whatever. I didn't know really what to do when I got off to Amsterdam. Well, I knew what one thing to do, but <laughs> uh, and it didn't really set in that I was in Europe until it was the Panic Show happened and uh, it started up, and you know the Americans were there, friends. You know, you meet a lot of good people. It was nice then, it kind of set in that I was really in Europe and started easing up, making things a little easier. Uh, I don't know, I'm looking forward to this Cologne show. It's supposed to be pretty small. These have been the smallest shows that I've ever dreamed of. Of course, you know, you got guys that were seen them back in the 80s or whatever, I never, I did, I guess my first show was on uh, June 3rd of 95, Austin, Texas. Shows have been tiny. Uh, I thought the Paradiso was the smallest venue. I mean, absolutely, like the smallest I've ever been to. And they've gotten smaller as the as the tour's gone on. I, I think there's probably like 300 people in the last show. And uh, at the NAC in Berlin, everybody's raging. It's uh, it's great. It's a good scene. It's nice and intimate. The shows are. I, you know, you're used to seeing them in a Red Rocks or something, Mud Island. It's great venues, but it's huge. And then, you know, you come here and you're an arm's reach away from the band. It's it's crazy. It's it's nice, and they're enjoying it. They look like they're having a good time just as much as we are. And that's, you know, that's just as much a part of it as, as anything. It's nice. I mean, I came over alone. You know, hoping to meet up with some people that are that are on tour or whatever. And I mean, it was that first night I got here, I ended up meeting up with guys I've been hanging out with for a week. They're all leaving. Uh, I'm not worried of having another another group group that uh, we can uh, hang out with before too long. Feeling new again, we headed west, all the way across Germany to Cologne. When we arrived at the Prime Club, JB was out front talking to everybody. Then he walked in through the front door. Oh, man, 
I have had the most awesome time, and here's all I want to say about this tour. Anytime God can take me home now, and I will die happy. But you know what? Don't do it tonight, because I got four more shows to see. <laughs> so, after Brussels, bring it on home. Where are we at? Oh, we are at the Prime Club in in Colson. And we'll see you at Battlefield tomorrow, then Nuremberg, then Munchen, then Zurich, and then we might do Brussels, we might not, but we'll fly out of yesterday, so we're going to have some dank on the way home on the plane. But take me now, because I am dying happy. Kids drink beer at the streets. Prost. Cheers. You're the man. It's been an awesome trip. Yeah, I got to say hello to everybody in Atlanta that didn't come. A bunch of losing it you're missing it you need to make it uh, missed last night or two nights ago but the first three shows have been fantastic couldn't ask for any more the uh, Paradiso was excellent Hamburg excellent show uh, Grunspan a very interesting venue Buddha was looking after us the whole show taking care of us and then in uh, Hanover it was a little tiny room it's like being back in a fraternity house ten years ago couldn't beat it it's an excellent show Went backstage, got to see everybody, talk to everybody. Saying hello from Cologne, uh, Germany. Rock on. The Germans love the panic. The Prime Club had maybe 120 people there. The intimate setting was great. It seemed like JB must have spent a few minutes and shook hands with everybody at the show.